So in this video, I wanna talk about two tools that I use all the time, and that is the ring cut and the ring select. Now you can see here on the screen in front of us, we've got this cube, and it's not uncommon to wanna to put a ring of vertices or a ring of edges around it. Or, or another way to think about that is I'm adding geometry to my model without having to extrude it. Because when I extrude it, I'm making the object bigger. In this case, that's not what I wanna do. So if I press tab and go into edit mode, and you can see the geometry is just our regular cube. I now press Control R and then mouse over, you can see that there's a ring around the cube. If I mouse over a different edge, you can see that we get different rings. If I now use my scroll wheel, I can add additional cuts, add as many as I want or as few as I want. When I have the proper number of rings selected, I'm gonna press Enter and then I have this option to slide them up and down. If you don't wanna slide them up and down so that they're evenly spaced, just press Enter twice or at this phase, press escape. Once you've done that, you can scale them, you can move them, you can do anything and everything. You've just added geometry to your object. Now this is all well and good, but sometimes you want to come back and change or edit a ring uh, around your object. And sure enough, you can hold shift and select all the vertices like we've been doing. But there's got to be a better way, especially if you have a lot of vertices on that ring. So it turns out if you hold alt and then click on one of the edges that makes that ring, you will select the ring that goes all the way around. If you hold shift and alt, you can select multiple rings of your object. And once again, you have control of those um, edges, vertices, and faces. Pretty useful and pretty handy. Now there are some nuances to the ring select. For example, if I hold alt and then click on this edge here, it's gonna select this edge along here, but there's no ring to complete. So all it did was select the partial ring. So again, if there's no ring to select, it won't be able to select the entire ring. And this can be a little confusing when you're starting to use the ring select.